We are here with Blair Took, trimmer on board Emirates Team New Zealand, defender of the 37th America's Cup. Blair, going into the beginning of the day, uh, oh, there was a lot of works from the short team, adding a lot of hard work and new equipment, for, especially for racing for the upcoming event. We, we saw an antenna at the top, some lights at the back for the boundaries. Did all this new hardware had any impact on the boat and on the performance? Did you feel any differences? Oh yeah, I mean, first off, it's I think a really successful day. Uh, like you mentioned, the main purpose of the last few days has been um, the installation and, and then uh, getting the RMS system all up and running. So that's everything from cameras to communication to protest buttons, uh, all of that. So there's, uh, you know, we're only a small part of it. We were just out there really testing uh, as the sailors on, on board the boat. So I think it was successful for them. Um, you know, we were having communication with that broadcast team and the, well, the software team um, back in, just checking a lot of the different systems. Uh, they, I think 20 odd of, odd of them based ashore. Um, so yeah, I think all in all a successful day. Then once on the water, first day on an AC40 with the opportunity to be speed testing and sailing next to uh, uh, our team. How, how was it? How did it go? Yeah, I mean, we've done a lot of um, two boat testing, as you know, back in New Zealand. So it wasn't uh, totally foreign to us, but having a non uh, Emirates Team New Zealand boat right next to us was uh, exciting, having Ineos there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the main priority of the day was the RMS testing. So we were kind of being instructed what to do at different times, te testing out um, the range. So you would have seen us sail a long way, um, long way offshore, testing the range and further up the coast and then uh, likewise back on the race course. So that was the main purpose of the day and um, it was great to have another boat out there to be able to do that with. While speed testing next to Ineos, um, it looked like at the, towards the end of the day uh, you were improving and your performance was getting a lot better also since you started to use the J2. Uh, do you agree on that? Did you have the same sensations on board? Yeah, well, I think first off it was very close on the speed um, as you can imagine with two one design boats with um, yeah it's, it was very even and the margins were like this so uh, that, that was good to see um, but yeah we did one line up there where we were on the um, J1 and they were on the J2 and it was you know a little bit of speed to them I'm not sure exactly the wind there but uh, yeah once we changed um, you know and, and also because we we're going from right out to sea in close the, the wave state was changing a lot too so that meant we had to adapt to that uh, we were actually sailing with uh, Josh Nath Andy and I for the majority of that Pete had to come ashore for something um, later in the day so uh, it was the first time we'd kind of sailed as the four of us um, on that boat ever or the first time I've sailed with Josh for a long time on, on one of these boats so that, that was pretty cool and last question, uh, talking about the different tacks, did you feel more comfortable or did, did you feel that you, you had a better speed, a better angle on any of the two tacks? <clears throat> oh, not really. For me, I was actually, I haven't really done the um, trim position on that boat very much. Uh, so obviously just trying to learn um, all the different controls and, uh, you know, what the different setups of the boat can be. So, and that was, you know, for us on board, what, we're, what we were looking at. Um, so, no, I think it was pretty even on, on both tacks. It was quite flat uh, sea state today out there. Uh, and, and a nice, what was it, six, six till that little gust came through in the middle, maybe 11, 12 knots or something. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, cool.